Welcome guys, we are back in another video here, and this video is going to have a discussion really type video. Uh, when are we getting NHL 23 news? It's August 18th, people are starting to wonder, you know, what's going on? Are we going to be getting NHL 23 news ever? I mean, people are starting to wonder, is NHL 23 even going to be a game, right? Uh, it is August 18th, it's getting late in the year. Uh, the beta, we really don't know officially when it's coming out. People have said around August 30th there's a possibility, but we don't know for a fact. There's been no official announcement from EA, so we'll have to see on that as well. But you got to think that there's going to be news before August 30th, before the end of this month, because the beta will be coming out this month, regardless if it's August 30th or 31st or whatever, 29th. They're not going to just drop the beta without telling you, you know, like a teaser or some sort of info on what the game is going to be like. So... I'm here to talk about when we should probably expect some news, which is going to be very, very, very soon, I believe, all right? So, hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik Threes. Also, I'm going to give you guys my input if I think crossplay will be in or not. I'll give you my percentage chance of it being in, all right? So, uh, let's get into it right now. So... It is August 18th, right? So that sounds late, right? That sounds very, very late uh, for there to be no news at all, right? So let's go back in time here, all right? Let's go back in time here and let's try to determine, you know, how far behind are we, okay? So, uh, you know, let's look back at the NHL 21 teaser trailer, okay? So if you look back at the NHL 21 teaser, teaser trailer the official reveal trailer that came on august 24th okay so that is about a week from now right august 24th i believe the beta was about a week uh after this as well very similar uh time frame so you know that you know that that shows you that at least we're not at this latest point yet uh for there being any news uh broken at all right so uh you know there's really no, no reason to like freak out yet uh it, it trust me it's frustrating i don't understand why there isn't news earlier i know that you know i understand the game comes out a month later but it doesn't make sense that the news comes out two months later that makes no sense because back in the day when nhl i believe like you know 17 18 19 20 uh at the nhl awards we get the teaser trailer at the award show which is like june like 24th, 26th or whatever, and the game will come out in September, which is actually three months uh, from the time the game actually comes out. Uh, and essentially, if you really think about it, uh, even if we get news in the next two days, that's like essentially like what, like a month and like a week or 10 days until the game probably comes out. So very, very late uh, releases for like news, which I don't, I don't understand why, but that's how they do it, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what I think. But uh, let's check out last year here as well, actually. I was actually mentioning it on my account, my Twitter account. Uh, Mark your calendars. The first look of NHL 22 was NHL 22 was coming this Thursday, August 19th. So that would actually be tomorrow, and this was announced on August 16th. So technically, we're behind schedule from last year in terms of there was an announcement of when we we're gonna get news. So far, we have not even got an announcement. Oh, this day we're gonna get the teaser trailer. So guaranteed we're gonna be behind because i mean tomorrow they're not coming out with it i doubt it uh, unless they announce maybe they're teasing it the next week but there definitely won't be a teaser trailer tomorrow it won't be official news tomorrow i don't believe so we're looking like we're behind last year but we could still be on par with nhl 21 all right so uh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, when did the official trailer uh, come out for 22, you might be asking as well. August 19th uh, is what it was. And like I said, it's really hard to, you know, officially say, you know, when a game should be coming out, when the news should be coming out. So NHL 20 reveal trailer was simply June 19th. Like I said, that is insane. June 19th, we got a teaser trailer. And now it takes, you know... Very, very long until we get that. I mean, it's simply the dog days of August, and uh, we still don't have an official trailer. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. Uh, we're going to see exactly uh, when we get some news, but I'm assuming my gut is saying this, guys. Uh, definitely next week we will get a, t a, tre a teaser trailer. Um, you got to think probably by... I want to say potentially Wednesday, I could see them announcing it, the 24th, like being a trailer, uh, or, or potentially the Thursday. Uh, you got to think before, I mean, this is it. Next week, it's happening. There's no week, there's no way that next week, there's not going to be a teaser trailer. I am guaranteeing it. You guys can put it down, say, Henrik said it, 
quote me, there will be a teaser trailer next week, 100%, guaranteed. So no more worries about that as well. And I'll give you guys some other opinions on what I think about NHL 23. Uh, you know, again, there's a lot of speculation going on whether, you know, there's going to be cross-play or not. You know, my, my opinion really hasn't changed. Uh, I think it's a 50-50 chance. The one thing that I get a little bit nervous about is the fact that Madden does not have it, which is interesting, right? Because Madden's one of EA's biggest games, not even close. So that's a little bit concerning that Madden doesn't have it. But you could also, you know, flip it and say, well, Madden doesn't really need it by any means, right? Madden doesn't really need it due to the fact that, I mean, Madden's such a big game, right? It's not like, you know, crossplay is going to really make a difference when it comes to matchmaking. I mean, that, that game just fills it up regardless. You're going to have no problem matching people all the time. NBA also doesn't have it, but NBA is 2K as well, so you can't really put too much weight into that. So NBA doesn't have it, but that's, again, NBA. FIFA has it, but for FUT only. So that's interesting. They don't have it for pro clubs, which is basically ESHL in terms of NHL. So that'd be interesting. What would you guys think if it was only in a hut uh, like, or, or just one or the other? That'd be interesting. Uh, I feel like it would have to be in all for people to be happy. Uh, like it'd have to be in everything, online versus you know, everything included, right? Every online mode, because that would be what we need in NHL. NHL needs crossplay the most out of any sports game. It's not even close. So hopefully uh, they listen. But NHL 23, I mean, it's it's the same thing every year where we all get excited and we all get hyped up and expect, you know, greatness. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's going to happen. I really, really hope it's going to happen. But another one, one more thing for me as well. I have a quick prediction as well on potentially the cover athlete. Uh, you know, we've all seen, you know, things going around the internet. But uh, I could see Zegers definitely being on the cover. If it's not Zegers, uh, I would definitely go ahead and say, like, Kel McCarr would be a great option. McKinnon, right? I mean, there's there's plenty of awesome options you can go with uh, when it comes to the cover athlete. I mean, there really just are. There's so many great young players. or just great players in the NHL and in, in, in general, right? I mean, there's so many firepower players and very exciting time for the game. So, yeah, I mean, I could see Zegers being on it. If it's not him, like I said, Makar probably would be my next best guess because Makar had a ridiculous season. So that would make a lot of sense as well. Um, but, yeah, and, and one more thing. Uh, you know, another one is, is GM Connected. Is that going to come back? You know, that's always one in the air where I just – I don't really believe it until I see it. Uh, GM Connected, I would say when it comes to, like, a percentage chance, I'd say GM Connected is probably – Honestly, like a 20, 25% chance of it happening. I just don't believe in it. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's possible. Like, it seems like their priorities are not on GM Connected. It seems like it's just on just everything else, basically. World of Chell. Uh, definitely not Be a Pro. You know, Be a Pro got love in Angel 21, but not in 22, that's for sure. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I really don't know what to expect for 23. That's why we need news, because I want to know what I can expect, because right now there's really not much that we can actually base off of, you know, what to expect in the game, right, and for the upcoming year, which, you know, we all want. We all want NHL 23 news. I mean, there's no better time than the first month of NHL 23. I know I'm kind of rambling on here, but I'm just kind of just talking, just, you know, spitting out ideas and just, I, I, want, I want you guys to get involved in the conversation and let me know what you want to see in NHL 23 as a whole, not just Hut, NHL 23 in general. Uh, for me, there's a lot of things that I'd like to see in the game in general. I'll probably make more wish list videos here in the near future of, of just other modes, not just Hockey Ultimate Team, which I've done so far, but uh, there's just so many great things that we really want this game you know we want just more realistic things we want just more in depth in the modes i mean hut obviously lacks that uh world of chell i mean it's not bad but world of chell is kind of similar i think most would agree with me as well on that uh there's just a lot of things that definitely can be changed and hopefully they do get changed i don't know just a lot of a lot of things felt similar in 22 to 21 besides the graphics and i mean rush i mean rush is the same in hut i mean it's I don't know. It's interesting. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what, uh, what EA cooks up. Hopefully it's good. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video though. Uh, I have one more thing before I go. Uh, it's uh, I'm doing a Madden giveaway right now on my Twitter. So if you guys want, uh, you can go to my Twitter. It's uh, in the description. Always click that. Retweet this and follow my Twitter account. And we give, give away this Madden code tomorrow. All right. On Friday. So have a chance to win Madden. I think it's like the all Madden copy as well. Like it's a very, very good copy of the game. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, though. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and new the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Make sure to join the Discord, talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.